YouTube, how you doing? This is Buck. Today you're looking at the Chameleon OS and we're on my Samsung S2 and uh, yeah this is the lock screen as you can see well I made it this way because I'm again using of course my Aspire launcher. I love it so much. It looks so sophisticated, so good. I have my player here and uh, we gonna take a look at the screen. Here you can see the home screen. Uh, my uh, capture uh, screen recorder is working. I do have uh, some strange failures sometimes. Not with the capture, but um, I, w I was recording just now and my screen just disappeared. It turned black and I had to reboot the phone and you know start it up again. Okay, let's take a look at the settings. This is uh, the way it looks in the settings. We have a little super user uh, up there. And uh, we take a look at the statistics of the phone, about the phone. Um, and you can see that it's model Android version 4.2.2. Uh, the model is GT uh, i9100. So this is the Samsung S2. And it's a pretty small ROM, it was only 200 and something megabytes, so I really like that, you know, I love small ROMs. But it did come with at least 65 apps, and um, after installing the special uh, Google apps, because you need a special version, special for this 4.2.2, otherwise it won't work. And you have to install that from out the recovery uh, uh, mode. So that is also uh, something you should know. Up here I can show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, um, where is it? Gaps 8.12, here it is. This is the Gaps version, it's 96 megabytes. So you can't miss it, that is what you need. So um, you will have to install that after the install. You must also wipe your uh, Delphic uh, settings and your Cache setting, partition settings. <coughs> after doing this, you might uh, experience problems if you don't wipe your uh, Delphic settings and your Cache settings. In the first place, if you don't install or, or don't, uh, oh yeah, you must also update the, uh, the user rights you will see it up there you know fix rights fix permissions you must also go for that one fix permissions Dalvik uh, wipe cache and wipe user settings and, and, and partition so all these things you must do if you install this ROM it's a pretty nice ROM it comes uh, it comes like this let me show you this is the theme that it comes with but as you know these themes are way too much for me I'm, I'm just liking it simple you can uh, also select certain parts of the theme that you want to use or you can get some other themes but it's a little complicated because the links are bringing you to sites that yeah what can I say let me show you And up here, you can see this ROM I installed today. This one, the three point uh, bloody blah, blah, but it's useless, yo. Well, it's not useless. Don't let me say things that will hurt people's feelings. It's not useless. It looks really nice, but you know, it does not run my. Um, It does not run my screen recorder and it's important for me to run my screen recorder. Up here you can find themes I think. V5 theme, I don't know what that is. Let's take a look at that.
and as you can see it's really hard to find something here you must go and oh I was looking for a special for the iPhone team of these guys because then I can use latest version you see this one I installed because uh, then I can use the boot loader is there a way to search for a team here I might overlook it and you guys are like ha ah, ha there there is it but I cannot find the search here I think this is really I don't know I don't need it um, yeah the wallpaper, wallpaper of course is a live wallpaper that I just downloaded it comes with a lot of uh, bloodware so the moment you install them don't click here go to your settings and select the wallpaper put them in a folder open your firewall because this thing comes with a firewall really nice it comes with a firewall and up here you can see that I blocked all of them block the expire launcher whoever sends me a banner I block them immediately you know so that is really cool only thing that we still need uh, for this yeah for this system is uh, some click sounds you know the iPhone click sounds that would be cool up here we can get our keyboard you see but all with all people this this is a nice ROM it comes with you know um, the apps that you need and even more and now you cannot really see them because <laughs> I put them all in folders here you can see some of them there's even a movie studio in there yo. not that I'm gonna use it but you know as you can see this is a beautiful ROM peeps uh, everything is in there and if you want it you can download it from the link out of my description and um, yeah to make it this way of course for all you new viewers if you want this just the way I made it you know then you need aspire 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 you type it like this you see that aspire and when you when you got your aspire then you must install this one aspire launcher 7 see that and then you go look for more aspire and in fact this is the old lock screen and this lock screen has all the click sounds and so but I'm not gonna install it because I have the iOS 7 lock screen you also need the aspire control center this one here you need the lock screen the iOS 7 lock screen and uh, yeah that's about it yo there are many other things that you know you could also install but you know the more you install is the less you will get out of your phone you know so don't install too much nonsense keep in track up here you can lift up and see all the running apps you see that these are a lot of apps already so I'm just gonna kill these apps that I'm not using such as the team and you had the chaboom 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 you can turn that off eh? the green flower we can turn that off news so what is that screen recorder we cannot turn that off um, yeah that's about it yeah. and the google play store we can close the camera we can close settings we can close and this we can close so now the phone has a lot of more memory left and it's only using the stuff that it's really needing so um, all you guys if you want this one more time uh, you can also uh, google it it's called uh, chameleon chameleon os here you can see it this is also the logo and uh, i think it's an amazing nice looking sexy uh, os <laughs> yeah rom it's not the os it's running on their android so it's not a uh, a different OS than Android it's just Android but Android looking really nice and sexy especially the way I made it I think I think I'm a 
I'm a great architect, you know. I think I'm, I'm, I'm making phones really beautiful, but I can only do that thanks to the guys that create the tools so you know we can use our imagination and do beautiful things i think this phone looks so beautiful i'm so in love with it you know uh, <laughs> my iphone 4s is just laying there you know being standby to receive calls uh, not doing too much on it running what's up on it but this is my play phone yeah this is a great phone to uh, just uh, just use and play with and uh, do all sorts of crazy things with it's uh yeah even uh, more powerful than the iphone and i can say it because i have the iphone and i know that uh, the iphone is a great phone i love it i will always have the iphone but i, all, I will all also always have an android phone with me because i think android is also very 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 cool if you like uh, this uh, beautiful um looking sexy uh, chameleon os rom you can get it from all the link of my description anyway peeps uh, thank you for watching this was puck and uh one more time if you like the video or like the rom or have anything to say about uh, this all just leave your comment uh, check out my description to uh, find the direct uh, download link to the rom and also try it out on your Samsung S2. As I said, many phones are supported, but you will read that in my description.